Hey, it's Sam East with iHeartRadio, and we are joined by Miss BB Rexa. Welcome back to Toronto. Thank you so much. How are you? Very good. How are you? I'm great. Well, you must be great because you are about to open for the Joe Bros, of course, on the yes. Happiness Begins tour. How has this experience been for you so far? It's honestly been fun. And I was worried about it because, you know, there's a lot that goes on with the tour and there's a lot of moving pieces. And I've I've been actually having fun. You know, it's actually tiring, but I wouldn't choose to do anything else with my time right now. Um, and they've been really nice. Their wives have been awesome. And yeah, I'm enjoying it. I was going to say, I'm sure the uh, the hardcore diehard Jonas Brothers fans want to know what your interactions have been like throughout the tour with the Jonas Brothers. I mean, I see them every day and um, sometimes they're super busy and sometimes I'm super busy. So it's just a high and by. And then sometimes I pop into their dressing rooms and just talk to them mm -hmm. and just hang out. Yeah, I imagine they're good guys to hang out with for sure. Yeah, they're really chill and their wives are usually there. So it's fun. So you're besties with Priyanka Chopra now at this point, probably. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually I haven't met Priyanka yet, but I've been uh, I've met Sophie and she's been so sweet. Awesome. Yeah. Well, of course, you're probably going to be singing Call You Mine, your new hit with the Chainsmokers, yeah. which I'm not just saying this. We play this on all our iHeartRadio stations. Thank Love you. the song so much. Thank you. What was it like uh, creating that song? It was really, it was, it was fun because I actually have known Drew for a really long time. Mm -hmm. I think for about, oh, wow. Um, let's say um, seven years. So seven years ago, we had a, a, a writing session and yeah, we were creating music back then. And then they got, uh, you know, had selfie, which blew up and then they got on the road and were super busy. And then I said to them, I said, we should do a song together. And finally being able to do a record together has been fun to say the least. To say the least. <laughs> they party a lot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, on that note, because they uh, closed out the iHeartRadio Jingle Ball last December, mm -hmm. and I think our, our eardrums are still healing after <laughs> that. Are they? Is their energy the same? comparable to how they are uh, on stage um they're more chill but then when they get when they start you know partying it can get a little intense I can't keep up with them you can't keep up with them no I have, I'll have a couple of drinks and then I'm out okay. you know I'm like I need to go to bed I have a show tomorrow you know I'm I, kind I of a, I'm kind <laughs> of a grandma no you're not you're the responsible one yes you're the responsible one uh, a little throwback here because we chatted at the iHeartRadio MMVAs when you were here last mm -hmm. year and I had asked you who your dream collaboration was. Mm -hmm. Do you remember what you might have said? Beyonce or Kanye? Also good, but not what you said at the time. You had said Alanis Morissette oh, and yeah. Lauren Hill. Yes. So Alanis, she's our Canadian girl, so we got to focus yes, on that. absolutely. Has there been any progress with this potential collaboration? Well, I saw Alanis at an, at an event that we were doing. It was actually for Lincoln Park at the Hollywood Bowl in California, and we were doing a tribute, um, and it, I was her dressing room was right across from mine, and I chickened out. Oh. Uh, okay, okay. Let's take this moment then. Maybe we could do like a BB by Alanis hashtag, get her attention with this, and yeah. then get this collaboration going. She's like, her, rec her, her songwriting and all the music she's put out is just phenomenal. I love how like in your face she is and mm -hmm. the things she says are she's really so edgy. Yeah. I love that. Yes, that song would be killer if it comes out, Alanis. We'll put that out there. Uh, well, you have a lot to celebrate right now because your champagne birthday is coming up. Yeah. on the 30th. Happy birthday. Can you birthday. believe that? And at Madison Square Garden, New York City, which is where I'm from. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. That is going to be a celebration. My whole family is going to be there. All a thousand of them. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Well, we always hear this in, in society and culture that you get the pressure to turn 30 and you're supposed to have your life together. All yeah. this pressure. Do you believe in, in any of that? Um, you know, when I turned 20, I thought I was going to have everything, you know, set up in my life and have a house and find, you know, somebody that I could spend the rest of my life with. And um, I think the 20s for me, I don't know, you know, I'm sure a lot of other people may feel this way, was just finding myself mm -hmm. and kind of settling into who I am. And um, now I feel like, you know, getting closer to the 30s, I kind of, you know, I know who I am mm -hmm. and um, I, I'm just kind of settling into my own which mm -hmm. feels really good now a week ago you posted something that I really resonated with a lot of women I'm sure resonated with we're the same age so I really felt oh this. really yes uh the male music exec won't even try and name that person yeah said that the, the pictures that you were posting were too sexy for your age yeah yeah which is 
first of all, ridiculous. Never stop posting your bomb pictures. Yes. Never. Thank uh, you. <laughs> but how has the reaction been since you posted that a week ago? I mean, it's been incredible. I feel like ever since the whole Grammy thing about, you know, not, I, I just, I'm so tired of people trying to put women into boxes and how we should look and growing up with Barbie and, and, and seeing those proportions. And I feel like that every body type is beautiful and that no, nobody, not even a man or a woman should be put into a box of what they should be. And for me, it's just about speaking out and bringing, and bringing, um, these things to light because mm-hmm. I, I, I've heard of stories of women that I've even known my friends, um, where you know they were scared of losing their jobs because they were going to be um you know uh somebody else was going to come in younger that was going to take their job and that to me is just silly I feel like it should be based upon um your talent and what you do and what you deliver and it shouldn't be based upon what you look like or your size or anything to do with the way you look Mm -hmm. um So I just wanted to post it out there so that I could hopefully bring awareness to it and that when, you know, a music artist goes into a record label, no matter what their age, they are judged by their songs and their talent and nothing else. Well, we love that you've become this, I don't know if this was intentional, but a champion for body positivity and yeah, girl, yeah. And, and well, because I've always, you know, when I was younger, I would watch, you know, I would I would go and watch, you know, look at magazines and see these super skinny supermodels and look at myself in the mirror when I was younger and be like, how do I become that? Mm-hmm. Like, I thought that's what, because I saw it in magazines and I'm like, that's what I probably should look like. Mm-hmm. And I think I'm just kind of, I've kind of come to the point where it's like, I will never be that. I have to accept my body for what I am. And if I want to get more fit and be healthier, I have to do it in a healthy way. Mm -hmm. Not trying to run for, you know, not trying to work to work out two, three hours a day, try to get some type of workout in and eat healthy and be the best me. Mm -hmm. Well, we we love that. And I think this is a perfect kind of segue into a quick little game, if that's all right, called what would BB do? Cool. Quick little uh, scenarios here. So body positivity, as we said, it, it can be a struggle for most of us, even on the best days. What would BB say to someone who's feeling down on themselves? What would you do to kind of encourage them? I would say that, you know, ride the wave. It's okay to not feel perfect every day. I think that a lot of times we see people who are super confident and posting all these amazing things on social media and all they show is this, these positive moments in their lives. And I think that is, you know, if you're posting positive things every day, that's great, but nobody feels great about themselves every day. And I think that we have to learn how to celebrate those days as well um, and know that self-love is a journey and that one day you'll love yourself, the next day you may not love yourself. And that is totally fine because you are human. What would BB do when she might have been on a few dates with someone, but she's just not down? What's the best way to handle that? I think honesty is always key. Um, a lot of times we get scared to let people know that, but I think honesty is key. And you got to do what makes you happy in the end of the day. And you never want to give up, you know, like what you're like what you stand for Mm -hmm. so just be positive it sucks but it's 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 actually more respectful because you're not wasting their time and you're not wasting yours bb's not gonna ghost you then she'll just be honest and straight up yeah (laughs) i love unless you do something really bad to me yeah it's a no-go uh what would bb do while out for karaoke what's that song that go-to song at last by Etta james Ooh, classic i love or roberta flack killing me softly yes so good what would BB do if Alanis Morissette actually came through and said, let's do a collab? Oh, you know, I would be, I would respond to her right away and be up in that studio ready to write. <laughs> and finally, what would BB do if she had a moment to do whatever she wanted to in Toronto? Um, I would go and f- try to find where Drake lives. Oh, we know. Oh, really? We can find it. It's yeah. under it's under construction right now if you want to go. And go knock on his door and be like, what's up? Yo, what's up? <laughs> and then just bounce. I, that's it. Nothing more. Nothing more. Just show face and that's it. Yeah. I love it. BB Rexa opening for the Jonas Brothers in Toronto. And, Thank you. And a new song on my and birthday. Yes. Happy Champagne Birthday. Yeah, not 20 anymore it's called. Isn't that funny? Okay, with all that's going to be my anthem, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you, BB. Thank you so much.